I did want to bring up Tom Brady. Now, Tom Brady, over the weekend, uh, over the prior weekend, we didn't get to talk about it, but I did want to at least bring it up. He has unretired. I mean, it took, what, six weeks? Is that is that about how yeah. long it took? And I believe that you uh, got some got some nasty comments on Twitter when, <laughs> when you made your comments about it. Uh, I, I don't think you said anything crazy at all. But uh, but hang on, what, hang on. Did I? I don't remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before that. And basically, you were talking about yeah, I would rather work than than just be like oh, a stay at home dad. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that spiraled way out of control. Holy shit. Yes, it did. I couldn't even remember what that was about. I forgot that that was all started with Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> but Tom Brady had spent yeah. six weeks at home with his family and then said, hey, you know what? I think I'd rather be playing football. And I don't know that I yeah. blame him. But, nope. uh, but this was interesting that, you know, it became such a huge thing and he decided to I, – I don't like – when players do this, right? It reminds me of Brett Favre way too much. And and I don't believe that Tom Brady is being a diva. I think he's really struggling with the idea of not having football. I think that's the biggest issue here. He knows he can still play. Like you, I, you and I disagree on this. All right, go I ahead. disagree completely on this. Okay. He never he never wanted to retire to begin with. There you go. I, I think I think he wanted to work his way to get to San Francisco. I really believe that. I said it on this podcast the week after he retired. I think you said it before and he I retired. Think, and I, maybe I did. I think he thought the only way he could do it was if he retired, and then he chooses to come back, and Tampa Bay has kind of moved on um, at their quarterback position, and so they'd be willing to move him to San Francisco for something pretty reasonable, considering he'll be 45. Um he always said, he's always been honest about this, I will retire when I suck. And last year, he should have been the MVP. Okay, They gave it to, to Rodgers, and, and they just completely missed it. They just missed it. This 44-year-old man did did so much more with less down in Tampa Bay than, than Rodgers could have ever done. And it's, it's just not close. Um, it, he, he didn't suck. He's one of the best quarterbacks in football today. Not his, not his record going into this year. If we just started ranking quarterbacks, he's he's still top five, top ten this year, right now, going to play. So um, he knows the, he looks at the landscape and he looks across the NFC and he says, "All I gotta do is beat Matt Stafford and Aaron Rodgers, and I've made it to the Super Bowl." <laughs> give me that give me that because they ain't a quarterback in the NFC that scares him because he has yeah. owned owned Aaron Rodgers his entire career no, you, you are not wrong there you are not wrong there so we'll see what ends up happening with Brady uh, there, you know it's kind of gotten quiet because of the NCAA tournament and everything but I would imagine talks will pick back up once we get closer to draft night and well so, so I don't. So I think the thing that threw him off was he did get his bluff called by by, by the, you know, by the organization. Like they're not going to trade him. Like you're you're going to play football for us, or you're not playing football at all. And I think he's okay with that. He it just got far enough down the road to where he knew, you know, it was either time to to come back now or, or don't come back. I think he. I think this was all planned. You might be right about that. You might be right. And I told about that. you that. I told you that either before he retired or right, you know, right after he retired. We had that conversation. Yeah. No, we certainly did. We certainly did. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.